DC album review number 55. This is going to be a dope album review. You're not going to want to miss this one. We're flowing on this one back to the West Coast. Peace. DC album review number 55. Five in after the 50 man 55 the double fives it's gonna be a great album review man i don't think you're gonna be disappointed before we get started if you haven't already man get yourself a cup i'll put that links down below and if you want to pick it up on person bam for a meet and greet stop by jimmy super free collectibles on the corner with your boulevard and mar vista and Marvista Street right in the, in the back of King Richard's Antiques, man. You'll see it there. It's a great spot. Stop by all the boots, man. You will not be disappointed. I guarantee sports cards, Hot Wheels, collectibles, shirts. We got it all. Stop on by. Tell them to rank custom sent you. Man, I hope with what I share with you guys, man, raises your frequency, raises your vibration, and puts you on a whole nother level of thinking and in music appreciation, man. Shout out to all the music lovers out there, man. This is going to be a great album review that I'm going to share with you guys, man. It's Hip Hop's 50th year, 50th anniversary, man, and we got to give all these rappers of our era, man, their due, man. All these artists, man. I don't even want to say rappers, man. I want to just say artists, man, all across the board. Because if we're talking about country, we're talking about rock and roll, it doesn't matter, man. They're artists, man. And we got to we gotta give them their, their due, man, and, and, and their flowers. And like we had mentioned before on another, uh, on another album review, these artists are finally getting their, their their due, man. You know, and this particular artist, man, if I had a chance for me, he's one of the last of the of the of the greats, man. But he's still here, and if I ever get a chance, I would love to do an interview with this guy, man. And he's probably the originator to what the West Coast is known for, man. And I'm talking not other than. The album is called Ryan Pays, and then the artist is called Ice Motherfucking T, dude. Dope ass hustler, gangster style, man. But maybe he didn't even know at the time, man. Maybe he was, you know, because his, his shit was kind of like a, a hustler shit. The hustler's a little bit above it, you know, doing gangster shit, man, because hustlers be having money man they got the nice cars they got the rolexes to be dressing fly ass shit with expensive ass shit but that one track man six in the morning that was probably that was inspired by schoolie d and ps psk sound my far dude and if you listen to it similar that's where he got the idea from so threw into the a whole another creation for the west coast and gangster music but that album there was classic with six in the morning and even later on with this other you know the the album with the guy with the raider hat and the shotgun in his mouth and the colors and new jack hustlers and haunted child and the original gangster and the 99 pounds and home invasion all those other ones man dude this guy he's a living legend dude this particular album was his debut studio album dude by american rapper and actor dude ice t released on july 28 1987 by sire records the album peaked at number 93 on the u.s billboard 200 and number 23 on the top r&b hip-hop album charts and was certified gold by the recording industry association of america r-i-a-a the album, especially tracks like Six in the Morning, is considered to have defined the gangster rap genre or started the gangster rap genre. 
Father, along with the Godfather of Gangsta Rap, Easy E, man. These two cats together, along with Scooty D, made for a whole fucking new genre of music, man. Reality rap, gangster rap, whatever you want to fucking call it, just, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget the G in there. G funk, G rap, gangster rap. Ice T claims that he, that this would be his first hip hop album to be carrying a parental advisory warning label. But like we had mentioned earlier on, when my brother Carlos um, was that these guys started off with electro funk, man, which was the foundation prior to any of this rap, and then later on it becomes it flows into gangster rap. That was part of the West Coast and music in general, man. That electro funk style that was created by even uh, we want to say Kraftwerk, man. The sampling came all from that. Then Bambada on the East Coast, and then you know the producers using that those beats and stuff from Kraftwerk create electro funk, which then flows into gangster rap. You know, so. I mean, that's the West Coast history on that. Growing up as a kid, hearing that, you know, that's what I took from it. Album to be carrying a parental advisory label, although it was years before the industry standard explicit lyric sticker was developed and Two Short's first album that also had to be carried with an explicit lyrics warning back in 85. Damn. So who was first? Either Ice-T or... Or fuck it too short. The 88 CD release included four bonus tracks. Damn. Ice T stated on his autobiography that Seymour Stein took the exception to the song 409 for the line guys grab a girl. Girls grab a guy. If you a guy wants a guy, please take it outside. <laughs> Which he saw as a homophobic. See, dude, you can't even fucking say shit like that nowadays because these motherfuckers, man, take it and, 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 and flip the script. You get canceled, cultured out of this motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying, man? Ice T insisted that those lines were not meant to be that, but who gives a fuck, man? Ice keep it gangster, man. But simply a statement of his own preferences. There you go, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Rolling Stones gave the album three stars in a contemporary review for the Village Voice. Robert Cristal gave Rhymes Pays a B and certified and credited DJ African Islam for helping uh, flesh out Ice T's crime themed raps. Yeah, a lot of times it's the fucking producer, man, that has to bring your talent out of it. Out of with the, with the beats he creates, or if you're in the, you know, you gotta get a feel for your artist, man, and and and, and develop that beat around their aura, and, and and have them tap into the creativity to bring out, you know, the the creativeness behind them. So it's the DJ too it has a big doesn't get enough credit for that. So we gotta give. African Islam has credit for also developing gangster rap too, right? Now, along with Ice T and every, you know, and Scooby D and, and of course Easy E, man. He had a lot to do with it. Yeah, whoever produced that fucking six in the morning needs to get his credit too, you know, as well. Can't know whether his street wise jabs at Reagan and racism will make a permanent impression on his core audience, but his exploitation and true crime tales are detailed and horroring enough to convince anybody, you know, was there, according to All, All Music's Alex Anderson. Dude, he painted a fucking picture, then if that motherfucker had that opinion, his picture painting with his words did its job, you know what I'm saying? So he painted a picture of the streets which made for a classic motherfucking album man the singles from ryan pace was number one six in the morning released in 86 make it funky dope ass track somebody gotta do it you know what pimping ain't easy 
Fuck, it's all ice right there. Genre, West Coast hip hop, hardcore hip hop, gangster rap. Call it what you want, just don't forget the G, man. This is DC album review number 55, West Coast. We're keeping it flowing to the West Coast with a true great artist and, and an actor, man. Does, um, just dropped this fucking single, man. The, the legend of, of Ice T right here. Shout out to my brother for gifting me this legends of Ice T with his greatest hits on it. Number one, it's too cold for the dumb shit. Feds in the review, man, dope ass gangster shit. Still keeping it gangster. The hanging side too. That's how I'm living. The tower, midnight, six in the morning. This is the greatest hits of his. His his greatest tracks and then some that song, some songs that were unreleased. Uh, Pure caps back drama so on nice pain, pray retaliation the fifth. Uh, side fight hit the fan. They want to make me back in. They want they want me back in. You gotta give me a. You got you got me open girl common sense. Check your heart balling bitch I knew. Addicted to danger and where the shit go when the shit goes down dope ass shit man right there man That's coming from a fucking legend. How many years later out the game man out the game man for Ryan Pace OG gangster hustler ice motherfucking teeth and man Can't say enough man one of my favorites of all time man let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite ice tea album and ice tea track man what you thought about this fucking uh, album review right here dc duran motherfucking customs album review number 55 peace love and light shout out to ice motherfucking t peace and i'm out of here <laughs>